All right, hello everybody and welcome. My name is John and today I'm super excited to finally be able to show you how to get really great color on your Ficus Elastica Ruby. Now, I've been on this plant journey for over three years now. I bought several of these, I placed them in all sorts of locations, and I'm finally now getting the color that I would like. So it's finally starting to look the way it did when I first brought it home. Before we go any further, I just wanna say that more light is not the answer. So if you're like me, you see one of these in the nursery, the greenhouse. I bought several of these because when you see them there, they've been grown in this really bright greenhouse environment and the whole plant is just purple and maroon and pink and it's just absolutely one of the most beautiful plants I've ever seen. But over time, if you don't give it the right conditions, you'll see the lower leaves fade to green and this sort of orangish cream type of color, um, which is also cool, but not nearly as impressive as the way the plant looks when it's getting the proper conditions that it's looking for. So over the years, I tried going brighter, 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 and, and to the point that I had this plant outdoors receiving direct sun for like six to eight or more hours a day, and that just wasn't it. In fact, that wasn't it at all. I'll put some pictures on the screen so you see what I'm talking about, but when I had this thing getting full sun outdoors all day long, the new leaves would come out incredibly, incredibly colorful. They'd be like, just dark red and purple. And then a week or two later, they would start fading to this green and orangish cream color almost immediately. So it was interesting that the new leaf was like amazingly colorful and then it would just lose the color right away. So the way I've been able to get this amazing color, which has been lasting for several months now, is by putting it in really bright outdoor shade. And I'll show you the location that it's in. I have this in a spot that's got open shade. So it's in a corner with nothing above it. And direct light is coming near that corner throughout the day several times, but it never hits the plant at all. And Luckily, we have this light colored cement here and the walls are painted white, so there's a lot of light reflecting around. So this is getting super, super bright indirect light. No direct light at all. So obviously the best place to grow this would be in a greenhouse where it's getting that filtered light all day long, maximum amount of filtered light. But so far in this outdoor open shade, really bright shade area, this thing has been amazing and the color is holding for a long time, which is something I hadn't gotten in any of the previous locations I tried before. And I had also tried protecting it. I had it in a west facing window before and I had, was protecting it by a sheer curtain and that, I thought that was really gonna do it, but that, that wasn't it. This has been working so, so much better. So it seems to me that based on all the experimentation I've done, the key here is to give them the maximum light you can while reducing that light intensity. Because if it's too intense, you'll see that it's gonna start fading right away. And as I show you a close up on these newer leaves, this is the color you're looking for when they come out. So they actually have this shiny kind of green color to them and that is how you know it's getting the right amount of light. Next time you see one of these in the nursery, look at the newest leaf and make it your goal to have your plant's newest leaves match that because I've gotten newer leaves that were twice this colorful before, but that was too much light and they would fade right away. Now, um, the area I live in gets way too cold in the winter, so Mama Ruby over here is gonna have to come inside. I don't know what's gonna happen because ficuses need a lot of light when you move them back indoors or else they start dropping leaves but I already know if I give her a bunch of direct light over the winter, that's gonna cause that color to fade. Um, so I'm not sure what I'm gonna do yet. Um, we'll see. So I'll let you know how that goes um, in six months or so. But for now, I'm very happy to report that this super bright outdoor shade, no direct light at all, has been giving me these incredible colors that I've been looking for for years now. So that's gonna do it. I just wanted to share that. I'm super excited. I absolutely love this color. I hope it sticks around when she comes inside. But in the meantime, I've been getting a lot of more colorful new growth that is not losing color at all. And so I hope you can find a similar setup that works for you and your plant at your home. Now, if you enjoyed the video, if this helped you at all, please hit the like and subscribe buttons and drop me a comment to let me know what you've tried or what your experiences have been with this. Because I think a lot of people will be surprised to find that shade, outdoor shade, has been so far what's gotten me by far the greatest color on this plant. So thank you so much for watching. 
I really appreciate all of you being here, spending your time with me. Good luck to you with all of your plants and with your life. And I hope to see you in the next video. All right, peace.